Welcome back to another Art of War Age of Empires 4 Gold Challenge. I'm going to give you some rough tips and strategy to help you walk through this and guide you to getting a gold medal. Start off by immediately sending your ground troops down the hill and into the forest line to build battering rams. This will reduce the amount of time that it takes to help them get further into enemy territory and help you set up while you work on building up your siege units back at the base at the top of the hill. While your troops are running down the hill, you want to make sure to build two springholds and two mangonels. You also want to take the time to use the upgrade from the Siege Engine Workshop that allows you to increase the speed at which those units travel. At this point in the challenge, you want to progress your scouts out into the water line to pull the enemy as they're patrolling past. Drag them back into the forest and allow your spearmen and your archers to take them down with ease. As this is happening, progress your battering rams forward in order to prepare them for the assault ahead and speed up the timeline as you get in towards the enemy gates, as well as progressing past the enemy tower to the west and doing damage to the one from the east. Use your scouts to pull the enemy springhold while your catapult and springhold tear the enemy one across the river down. I don't have the best execution of this strategy, but sometimes as your scouts are progressing across the river line, you can push them over to the west end and draw out the enemy archers from behind the fortress walls, thus giving you an opportunity to use your mangonels slash catapults to take them down effectively and give you more opportunity to succeed once you tear down the walls and get inside. With a bit of practice, you can have consistency in getting through the walls in a relatively short period of time. The ultimate goal that you're trying to achieve is getting and breaching through this tower defense in under 2 minutes and 10 seconds. I've seen a few people consistently deliver beneath that, but this is absolutely crucial to your success in making sure you can get gold for this challenge. You can remove your infantry from the battering ram while the battering ram is still working in order to tear down the wall defenses a little quicker. It doesn't seem to be as consistent, especially with archers firing back at you. Feel free to take some time and practice what options you like to use best. I would definitely recommend avoiding the tower to the east as you breach through the wall. Immediately send your battering rams right to the town center to continue their defense and unload all of your troops at the doorstep. Use the mangonel slash catapult to take down some of the remaining infantry as they come in, and then continue to have your infantry burn down the town center and focus on that as quickly as possible. You want to start driving your siege engines up the hill to prepare and counter for some of the troops that lie in wait at the top of the hill at the next objective. As I get my mangonel slash catapults into position, near the edge of the top of the hill. I like to turn them around while my springholds are still catching up and then finish off some of the last little bit of the city center. From there, you wanna take your battering ram as well as your remaining infantry away from the town center and start to push them up the hill because every troop matters in this last objective push. Make sure to take time to get your springholds to attack the enemy springholds. Otherwise, them destroying your catapults here is going to be absolutely detrimental to your success in this mission. Also, make sure to take any opportunity to keep spearmen and archer in the way of the enemy spearmen as they rush your siege work. You should be sending the remainder of your troops up the hill by about 3 minutes and 30 seconds to 3 minutes and 50 seconds. Anything less than that will mean that you might not end up getting this gold consistently or that it'll be very, very close depending on how many infantry that you have left, as well as battering rams and your siege engines. Any loss of a springhold or a battering ram won't put you at too much of a disadvantage, but feel free to use your springholds in the front facing position to try and combat the enemy siege works and keep your battering rams and your catapults alive. Those are the most influential pieces to the success at dealing massive damage to the enemy structures that you need in order to accomplish these goals. As long as you've made it up to this point in this amount of time and have roughly the same amount of troops, you should be able to conquer the rest of this challenge with ease, as you'll be sitting back with no remaining enemies to take down any of your troops as you do massive damage to the secondary objective and crush the Kremlin landmark. 
I hope this guide has helped you to accomplish early siege and give you a little bit more insight as to the tactics that I use to consistently deliver on gold medal results. Good luck, and thanks for watching.